So let's jump right into game two uh, on Beltway. Wow, Beltway. Holy moly, Beltway. Haven't seen that map in a while. Um, so game two between Danpil and Oxerg. Danpil is up one game. Um, <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, and the second game is on Beltway. That's going to be pretty interesting. Oh no. Uh, what to do with the colors? Yes, colors. Beltway, Beltway, Beltway. That's going to be interesting. So, somebody's lagging. Mm, that's quite unfortunate. Uh, Whoa! Five pool! <laughs> uh, five pool by Oxerick. And what is Dampel going to do? Has put down the pile on... Uh yeah, he will have to pull uh, some drones, uh, some probes here, and the choke is kinda big. Um, it's going to be difficult to defend uh, the five pool, but at least he's going to scout him uh, on the first try. So Danpil moving in. Mm, busted! Definitely saw the pool, uh, so... He knows what's up, but I mean the rush, uh, rush distances aren't that big on Beltway. Mm, at least it doesn't look that big. Uh, probably the same as uh, Fighting Spirit. So... Uh, First six links are going to pop in a second, and Forge is almost done. Whoa, wait, what? Uh, oh, doing the extractor trick. I was just, uh, <laughs> I was way confused. I was like, wait, is he going to take a gas? Oh man, silly me. Of course, he's doing the uh, <laughs> extractor trick to uh, get out some more. Uh, one pair of Zergling, one additional pair of Zerglings. Um. So, looks like uh, Danpil is going to sack, um, to sack the forge. Hmm, pretty interesting, I don't know. Uh, ah, well, the cannon isn't even done, so he wouldn't have been able to defend the natural, or uh, the position at the natural. And uh, the links are moving in, but the cannon is going to finish. Yeah, cannon is up, so... See, yeah, Oxager is droning behind that. Um, so Oxager is just going to uh, pick off the pylon, pick off the car forge, and it's going to play it from there. Um, scouting probe is still alive, so Dampu will know that uh, Oxager has droned behind that. Mm, so this is actually turning into kind of a standard game. I mean, turning into one base, one base pro build. And uh, Oxerg is going to take his natural. So the five pool didn't it, uh, didn't do too much damage. I mean, he denied the fast expo, mm, but he invested a lot in it anyway. Since he went for the five pool, of course. Oh man, he's uh, re he has resumed uh, circling production. Oh, he's uh, managed to cancel the gateway, so just trying to delay Dampil and just producing uh, one additional set of Zirklings, uh, probably to trap the pro. Block the entrance? No? Okay. So, actually, I have no idea why I did that. But it's cool, he's uh, way better than me, so he knows what he's doing. Uh, still t not taking a gas. Is he going to put down a third hatchery? Yeah, so he's uh, going for the standard response to uh, one basing Protoss. And he'll actually going for a second gateway, but the gateway is not covered by the cannon. And Oxerk is going to be able to pick it off or uh, force the cancel. Um, pretty much tries it again, but it's uh, going to be denied yet again. 
First out is out now for Danpil. Um, <laughs> you really need <laughs> one second gateway. Um, yeah, so both players just macroing up. Wow, fourth hatchery. So it's going to be uh, two base, two macro hatcheries. Oh, pretty interesting. Yeah, and he uh, used the Zerglings to block the entrance. So, um, Dan Pill has no idea what's coming his way. This might be a f uh, fast tech to new lists. He's kind of safe in his main, of course, with the cannons. Um, but still, uh, he has basically no idea what's going to happen. And uh, Oxer is going to move into the lateral with his links, and he will be able to deny this base. Or will he? Um, I thought he had more zerglings. Uh, he's not going to be able to uh, fight the three zealots head on with uh, only five links. So uh, Dampo actually gets the base down. So base is gonna go up. Forge is also finished so he will cannon up now and uh, what is Oxo going to do? He's now starting to mine gas. He's also taking second gas and he's uh, thrown down a creep colony probably to uh, prevent further scouting but the probe might actually be in time yeah the probe is going to get in and he's going to scout everything did he s oh well almost everything i don't think he saw the hydrogen but he saw the two gases uh he is going to see that there's no layer on the way yet um so he only can so he can assume that it's going to be hydras i mean no layer uh taking two gases usually is hydras or he is uh, getting the lair on the hidden third base, but of course he doesn't know that. He doesn't know that there is no third base. And he might actually have seen the Hydrogen, I'm not quite sure. Uh, but he would have had to click on it, and I don't think he did. But uh, he didn't see a lair, so he can assume that it was a Hydrogen if he saw it. Hmm. Pretty interesting. We'll see. So the probe is getting uh, getting chased, and he's probably going to lose it soon. Uh, he's doing a good job of keeping it alive, though. But he's not getting. Oh, well, I was just going to say he's not getting any further information, but he actually is going to get uh, further information. Gets into the main again, doesn't see a lair, and oh, there's also no lair. In the natural, um, Oxerg has taken a third base, but it looks like he wants to go really uh, hydra heavy, uh, hydra heavy for now. And um, Dampil knows that there's no spire on the way, knows that there's no lair, so he just goes for the really fast speed zealots. So he's going to go uh, really speed zealot heavy for gate speed zealot in the mid game and um, is also going to scout the third base wow he just uh, great scouting that game just knows everything just knows what's up and Oxerg uh, is gonna try and put some pressure on uh, Danpil but speed is soon going to finish and then the Hydras won't be that effective against the zealots of course because speed zones are pretty good against Hydralisks. Um, probe gets chased away. I, he didn't see the third. Uh, he moved up, so he. Uh, is he going to scout it now? Um, uh, doesn't look like it. Nope. Probe is going to be uh, is taken out. So he doesn't know that there's a third base on the way for uh, for. For Oxerg, but speed has finished and he's got quite a few speed lots. I mean, there are also quite a few hydras, but still, speed lots are pretty good. And plus one is on sub dog, uh, is only halfway done. Um, moving in now. Nope. <laughs> Just poking in, and uh, another strike force is. Uh, so he actually scouted it. Okay, so he scouted the base. Um, 
He's distracting Oxerk, meanwhile moving into the third and he's going to be able to pick off the hatchery, or is he? Um, nope. Okay. Pulls back. Uh, I thought he might want to... Whoa, sorry. Might want to try and snipe the third, but... Looks like he doesn't... Uh, didn't want to commit his units. Spire is on the way, Lair is done. Is he gonna go no lurk upgrade yet? Uh, second strike force going into the third, or towards the third rather, but it's going to be intercepted, or rather, it's going to run into the defenses of Oxirk. Um, is there? Yep, there's the Temple Archive. Storm is almost done. Range, Goon Range, that is, is also on the way. Plus one should finish any minute now. And um, first DT is out on the map. Does Oxerk have detection? Yeah, he does. And there's also some colony um, there to defend. So he's going to be fine. And Oxerk has pretty good vision on the map. Really nice uh, circling spread. Just uh, checking every base. Basically has a unit checking every base. Um, that Danpo could take. But it actually looks like uh, 246, uh, 7, 7 gateways. Looks like Dampil is more um, looking towards a big mid game attack here. I mean, he's on 7 gateways, uh, he has a bit over 100 supply now. Ooh, good storm, uh, damaging the Mutas quite heavily. Um, oh no, he's actually trying to set up a third base, so no uh, mid-game attack, my bad. Mm, but the Mura scouted out and uh, managed to kill the drone probe. Yeah, I mean there's kill. And Oxag moving into the natural now, doing some nice micro. Ooh, good storm! Wow, perfectly placed storm, not hitting uh, his own probes, but uh, getting all the Mura's. And another strike force going in, and uh, Oxag's army is kind of out of position. I mean, there are Hydras close by, but it's uh, too many speed cells, I think, for uh, Oxyrk to handle right now. Uh, Oxyrk's moving in, he's going to lose the hatchery. He will clean up um, the Zelts. The Zelts going after the pro drones has managed to take out three drones, I think. Um, Yuro's also coming back to defend, and uh, is he going to get another drone? Yeah, gets another drone. So, Oxerk taking some economic damage here. Uh, Danpil is able to take out the hatchery. Ma also managed to pick off uh, quite a few drones. And he has quite a formidable force here. Uh, quite a large amount of, um, of Dragoons in this army. Also, 3 High Templar. So, he will have 6 storms, I guess. Well, I can check. Nope. It's only a. Uh, Another storm on the Mulisk. Wow, taking out so many Mulisks. Though I think there's only one Mulisk left. And um, two storms left with this army. A few zealots and quite a few dragoons. So this is a huge, huge attack coming. Uh, coming Oxyx's way, but Oxyx uh, also has quite a few Hydralisks. Good storm on the Hydralisks, and um, all the Zealots have gone down, so put, uh, Pure Dragoon is going to cut it against Hydralisks. Hydralisks are actually pretty good against Dragoons. Uh, so Oxyx is able to push... Whoa, sorry. Uh, is able to, uh, to push Dampil back here. Um, so Dampil losing quite a few Dragoons here, and uh, Dragoons are pretty crucial uh, with the Zerg, uh, with the Pro's army, and Oxer going for the High Templar's knight manages to pick off two High Templar and only loses two Hydralisk for it. Um, of course, Dragoons are super important uh, because they cost quite a lot of gas. I mean, only I mean you would say 50 gas, not that much, but since you need all the gas for High Templar and. Uh, DTs or Reavers in the late game anyway, you don't want to uh, spend any further gas on 
replenishing your goon count and Oxox moving in here has a few lurkers with the army and I don't think uh, Danpil has an ops here, at least I don't see one. Good storm on the Hydralists and Oxerg is able to cut um, to cut Danpil off from his third base or is he? Um, Oxerg is pushed back. Is there th there's still no ops so Oxerg is essentially cut off from his third base and Oxerg going for the pylon snipe smartly uh, but big storm on the Hydralists. Wow, it takes off Oh, he just picked off all the Hydralists and um, this attack has basically been stopped right now uh, where is the observer there's the observatory there's the robo um, but still no ops out but it's halfway done so it's going to be out in a second um, Oxerk has managed to re-establish his third base um, just moving in, sniping a Dragoon. He's also going to pick off a Zealot. Very nice control here by Oxer. Is he going to get? Nope. I thought he might try and uh, pick off the High Templar. Is he preparing for Hive Tag? It doesn't look like it. Mm. So, no Hive Tag on the way for Oxer. Uh, the Lurkers are cleaned up right now. And um, Dempel still has a pretty big army and uh, going for another attack. This time he has more zealots uh, with him than last time. And should be pretty effective because uh, Oxer pretty much has only Hydralis. Uh, two lurkers in the mix, but still very Hydra heavy. And Hydras melt to zealots and storms. It's like. It's uh, very difficult uh, to control your Hydralis effectively uh, against such a huge uh, Pro's army. And uh, moving in, good storm on the Hydralisks. Uh, decent storm dodging though, but still it's so many Dragoons left. Uh, another nice storm. Uh, one Lurker still there, but the Hydralisks are all gone and Lurkers without support don't do anything and there's no static defense here at third. So uh, Oxerg might actually lose the third yet again. A uh, few Hydra reinforcements coming in, um, but there's an Archon here. And Archons are pretty tanky. He might be able to, yeah, picks off the Archon. Is he going to get the High Temple as well? Uh, he has pulled his drones now. This is not looking good for Oxerg. Mm, his reinforcements are just being cleaned up and. Uh, Danpil's reinforcements actually move into the natural and end the game. So 2-0 for Danpil over Oxerk.